Itochu Corporation will participate in a large-scale green hydrogen project in Namibia, strengthening the energy ties between Japan and Namibia. Hydrogen, the emissions-free energy source, will be crucial in decarbonization efforts. The project involves Hyphen Hydrogen Energy Corporation and aims to harness Namibia's renewable energy to produce green hydrogen. Japan joins this global initiative, with plans to increase its hydrogen usage by 2040 and an investment of 15 trillion yen in a sustainable supply chain. Chinese military hacker infiltrates Japanese defense network, reveals US report. The U.S. National Security Agency detected the intrusion in 2020 and alerted Japan, which did not respond adequately until 2021. American experts visited Tokyo to address the serious threat. China continued the attacks even under the Biden administration. Both countries collaborate on assessments and countermeasures through private companies. Cooperation between the US and Japan is reinforced to tackle cyber threats and enhance security amid regional tensions. Details about the leaked confidential information are still unknown. Bandai launches the Dream Gashapon contest at its anniversary event in Tokyo. The event celebrates popular capsule toys with a focus on innovation. High school students presented unique ideas for new Gashapon products, although some were met with irony by Bandai representatives. The contest has two categories, product idea and vending machine design, with cash prizes and the opportunity to see the winning design in a real machine. The deadline is October 31st, and the results will be announced in December. After a four-year wait, the Lake Biwa Fireworks Festival returned to the city of Otsu. Despite being cancelled for three years due to COVID-19, this summer event illuminated the sky with 10,000 stunning fireworks. Under the theme Summer Cigar, rebirth of the Lake Biwa Fireworks Festival, attendees celebrated and cheered loudly. Although there was local opposition due to traffic and environmental issues, the festival was a success, and its return in the future is being considered. Over 10,000 people suffered heat strokes and were hospitalized in Japan during the week of July 31 to August 6, according to preliminary data from the Fire and Disaster Management Agency. This number follows the previous week with over 11,000 cases. 18 heat-related deaths were confirmed in 13 prefectures. Continued temperatures of 35 degrees Celsius or more have raised concerns. The agency urges the population to use proper air conditioning and stay hydrated. In July, a total of 35,724 people were hospitalized due to heat. On World Cat Day, an educational event was held in Minato-ku, Tokyo, to highlight the importance of feline health. Two veterinarians led talks on the increasing longevity of cats and early disease detection. With an average lifespan of 14.4 years, early detection of issues like kidney disease is essential. However, cats visit hospitals less often than dogs, attributed to the lack of rabies prevention laws for cats. The event aimed to promote veterinary care to ensure the health of these furry companions. Daikin Industries records its highest quarterly profit of 802.1 million yen, driven by the recovery in air conditioner demand in China following the easing of pandemic restrictions. Net sales increased by 13.1% year-on-year to 1.0947 trillion yen in the April to June period. Sales of high-efficiency commercial systems stood out in Japan due to higher energy costs, while in Europe, air-to-air -air heat pumps remained stable. Daikin maintains its annual profit forecast with a 3.0% increase in net sales and a 2.4% increase in final earnings.
just fund the Italian Air Force strengthen their air defense cooperation through joint drills. At Komatsu Air Base, Japan, they announced the continuation of these exercises and the enhancement of collaboration. Yasuhiko Suzuki of JASDF emphasized the strategic partnership, while Bayabati of the Italian Air Force highlighted the importance of improving capabilities. Training with Italian F-35 and Japanese F-15 fighters will extend until August 10. This focus on multilateral collaboration is part of Japan's defense policy, including future exercises with France and Australia. The Kyushu Shinkansen service between Kumamoto and Kagoshi Machua was suspended on the 8th due to the approach of Typhoon No. 6. Junior Kyushu decided to temporarily cancel operations and will determine when to resume them based on the typhoon's course. Meanwhile, the Hakata Kumamoto and Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen routes, Takeo Onsen Nagasaki, continue to operate normally. Additionally, other conventional lines in various prefectures have also been suspended due to the impending typhoon. Space is revealing advances in drug discovery. Through the high-quality protein crystal growth experiment on the International Space Station, proteins responsible for diseases are being analyzed. Several candidates for therapeutic drugs are in advanced clinical trials thanks to this approach. Astronaut Satoshi Furukawa will participate in these efforts during his upcoming mission. Japan, with a long history in space research, seeks to leverage the unique opportunities space offers to uncover medical insights inaccessible on Earth. The researcher has worked hard to get the data, please like, subscribe and share.